Hello everyone welcome to my channel, I providing some important questions on applied physics for EC and EE stream. If you visiting first time to my channel don't forget to subscribe and give a like to the video, in this passing package the passing modules are third, fourth and fifth module. Let's get into the video, first I go with first module, the first question is explain de Broglie hypothesis, derive an expression for de Broglie wavelength and mention different forms of de Broglie wavelength. The second question is define wave function, then derive time-independent one-dimensional Schrödinger's wave equation. The third question is state Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and show that a free electron cannot exist within the nucleus of an atom. The fourth question is derive eigenfunction equation for a particle in one-dimensional potential wall of infinite height. The fifth question is what is wave function, give its physical significance and properties. The sixth question is discuss the wave function, probability densities and energy for a particle in a box by considering the ground state and first two exited states. The seventh question is obtain the expression for eigenvalue and eigenfunction for particles in a box. The last question is what are the properties of wave function, give the qualitative explanation of Max Born's interpretation of wave function. These are the important questions in module 1. Then I go with second module, in this the first question is mention any three assumptions of quantum free electron theory, explain the variation of Fermi factor with respect to temperature and energy. The second question is mention the assumption of quantum free electron theory, give an account of Fermi velocity and temperature. The third question is what is polarization, describe the different polarization mechanism. The fourth question is derive clausius masotti equation. The fifth question is explain the following, type 1 and type 2 superconductors, VCS theory of superconductivity, superconductors, critical temperature and critical magnetic field. The fifth question is what are squids, explain briefly the working of squid and mention its applications. The sixth question is discuss the solid, liquid and gaseous dielectrics with one example each, explain the role of dielectrics as an electrical insulator. The seventh question is explain the construction and working of maglev vehicle. These are the most important questions in module 2. Then next I go with third module, in this the first question is explain spontaneous emission and stimulated emission, derive the expression for energy density of radiation at equilibrium in terms of Einstein's coefficients. The second question is describe different types of optical fibers with neat diagram and explain how PP communication is enabled through optical fibers. The third question is define numerical aperture and derive the expression for numerical aperture of an optical fiber and mention the condition for ray propagation in optical fiber. The fourth question is explain the requisites and condition of laser. The fifth question is define the following, population inversion, metastable state, acceptance angle and numerical aperture. The sixth question is what is meant by attenuation and attenuation coefficient, mention the expression for attenuation coefficient in a fiber of length L, mention its advantages and disadvantages. The seventh question is discuss the working of laser printer. The last question is mention the characteristics of laser and explain the types of interaction of radiation with matter. These are most important questions in module 3. Next I go with fourth module, in this module first question is explain the terms gradient of a scalar, divergence and curl of a vector, derive Gauss divergence theorem and write an expression for Stokes theorem. The second question is state B.O. Savart's law and derive wave equation in terms of electric field using Maxwell's equation. The third question is explain Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction, Ampere's law and express the same in point form. The fourth question is what is displacement current? Discuss continuity equation. Derive the expression for displacement current. The fifth question is elucidate the transverse nature of EM waves through linear polarization. The last question is state and explain Gauss law in magnetism, Ampere circuit law. These are the important questions in module 4. Next I go with last module, in this the first question is what is Hall effect? Obtain expression for Hall coefficient and express Hall voltage in terms of Hall coefficient. The second question is explain the construction and working of photodiode and mention its applications. The third question is explain the construction and working of semiconductor laser and mention its applications. The fourth question is mention the expression for hole and electron concentration in an intrinsic semiconductor and derive the expression for electrical conductivity of a semiconductor. The fifth question is derive an expression for electrical conductivity in extrinsic and intrinsic semiconductors. The last question is explain in detail about the four probe method, use resistivity as a factor to explain the concept along with its applications. These are the most important questions in fifth modules and problems are also important in all the modules and all the best for your exams.